faces with fear. Will the ink or the feds arrive at his doorstep? To his relief, it's the ink and the perfect shade of green. Dennis is ready to roll. The toughest part of getting the paper to look and feel real was accomplished and I was very excited. And I just felt I was rich. But surprisingly, not every greenback off the press is a masterpiece. There are smudges, double prints, misprints. There's plenty of trial and error, because one error will send him straight to trial and jail. Dennis needs the bills to be perfect. I had probably about a quarter of a million dollars of wasted counterfeit before it started looking very spendable. Once they pass his scrutiny, Dennis goes for the jackpot and prints up million after million in bogus $20 bills. And eventually, one by one, then 20 by 20, then hundreds of bills start pouring out, each more perfect than the last. He tallies up his production, $11,750,000. The short answer to what it feels like is to watch $100,000 a minute come out of the printing press is very exciting. It comes out so fast it looks like a blur. And that's a lot of money. It's the instant rush of becoming an instant millionaire. But the cash isn't ready to spend just yet. The bills need to look worn. The solution? That came during uh, laying in bed before sleep. I would think of all the intricate details. Dennis creates his own chemical aging process with coffee grinds, starch, and distilled water. And then on a marble uh, tile, wearing surgeon gloves so you don't leave fingerprints, you would ball the money up. Then you'd have to take them back out one at a time in just one sweep with the hot iron on the same marble tile. And that would set the starch and that would set the wrinkles. Now, after six months of nonstop work, Wayne Victor Dennis is ready to cash in. With the assistance of his girlfriend, he takes $100,000 in 20s cross-country on a counterfeit cashing tour. They have a strategy. Stop at fast food restaurants, use their fake 20s to buy a soft drink, and get real cash back. It's one thing to print money in a basement. It's another to pass it off face to face. Dennis still remembers their first stop. I can help you. Can I just have a small Coke, please? Okay. That's it. Thank you. It was very nerve-wracking. I have to say I had a drop of sweat coming off my forehead. My hand shook like a leaf in the wind, and I handed her the money shaking. She put it in the cash register and gave me back my change. I was still shaking, but it was right then I knew that it was going to work, and I was an instant millionaire. So now I'm $18.88 richer. The success intoxicates Dennis, sending him and his girlfriend on a spree across the country. One thing that I thought was pretty ingenious was to leave some of the counterfeit at grocery stores, throw a little out the window at nighttime so people would find it and they would cash it in places I would never cash it. So therefore the Secret Service couldn't say a pattern. Finally, they pull into the ultimate money mecca the bright lights and big greed of Las Vegas. I figured if we can pass it in Las Vegas and not get caught, then we can pass it anywhere. Because the, the uh, change persons in the casinos, that's all they do eight hours a day is handle money. And it passed quite nicely. About $4,000 an hour they were able to funnel through the casinos. Dennis and his girlfriend become instant high rollers. At first, Alex and I were cashing the counterfeit through the casino and we're playing 21 and roulette and getting change from the uh, uh, cashiers. We're making great money. Flush with success and fatigued by the hard work of making millions, Dennis and his girlfriend decide to take a break. So we decided to go upstairs to the mezzanine where they had arcade games. Ironically, it's when they let their guard down that the stakes get their highest yet. Dennis passes off a counterfeit 20 to a teenage employee at an arcade game. She's not experienced with big cash, but she has a nervous habit that's about to expose his entire...